<laughs> you know, he's the only critic worth a hill of Arico. You've got time for a little chaplet. Oh, a quick one. Armagnac? You remembered, I'm touched. La vie de Wagnier? I think we have some. Then twist my rubber arm. <laughs> <laughs> right. Love your tie. Thank you. Darling boy, this program immortalizes. It can immortalize this lovely place of yours. Yeah, I'm not interested in immortality, guy. I just want to feed people. What about the team? It might be quite pleasant for them, might it not? I did not tickle them. Think it over. I'm going to badger you. Call me if you change your mind. If and only if you think it might be fun. Hmm. You off. Can't leave that lovely stuff trapped in there. It's cruel. Hmm. What are you doing out here? I'm trying to think of something to say. How long is that going to take you? Um... You are bloody useless. Is this all I get after months of waiting? Cocoa snaps or porridge? I know what you mean. Morning. Whoa! Sleep well, did you? Like a baby. I, um... I don't suppose you want to be on TV, do you? What? He wants to do food for thought from here. Seriously. <laughs> What's going on? I'm playing some stupid game. I am going to be a TV star. Food for thought? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a call. Come on. Shall I do the tea, then? So we start outside. Yep. We'll get Guy to do the introduction. I'm sorry, just, just, just look at him! It's your aftershave. It's damaged my olfactory receptors. Now I can't work with him any longer. You need me. Oh, my. Let's all stay calm, shall we? We shoot on a 17th. I promise that Guy will be there sober and on time. No, no, Tanya. What have I told you about making promises? Terry! Terry here. We'll be making sure that nothing untoward occurs. Won't you, Terry? Mr. Witherspoon will be at the appointed place at the appointed time, ready to go. As clean as a whistle, as pure as the driven. Not a drop of alcohol will pass his lips until then. You can't do that. Really? Watch me. Are we expecting anyone? Flash bastard. Sorry to ruin your little game. Uh, I think the pilot got a bit lost. Oh, you could have fooled me, son. You don't know where Rob Haley's boot is, do you? What? It's it's that way, at the end of the drive. OK, nice one. Cheers. Right, that's it. Game over. Not till you hit the post. <laughs> I 
think the croquetto went very well with the skate. The Pui Pui say might have been a better choice, but you've got to love the way it does the butter. Blackened to perfection, and exactly the right amount of capers. Who would have thought you could do that with a carrot? <laughs> I can definitely help. You're forgetting about my military training. I thought you were kicked out of the territorials because all you ever did was go to the dinners. I wasn't kicked out. I was asked to leave. Oh. And what's the plan? Don't move. I'll be back in a minute. Operation Rat Atui. <laughs> What? What's wrong with him? It's not what they ordered. Dude, he's getting nasty out there. It's not much better in here. Tell him it's all we got. Tell him it's on the house. The steak's gone, the halibut's finished, and there's no more syllabum. Well, I'm going to like it. Ow! Ow. What? No. What did you do? What did you do? <laughs> what did you do? No, it's OK. It's OK. <laughs> oh, I really wanted that one. Then you shall have it. I know the owner. I wouldn't go in there, man. Is that so? <laughs> Listen here, Moonface. I'm an expert at martial arts. <laughs> well, I'm in a blind panic. Thank you. Right. You're coming with me. You didn't just snap your fingers at me. I did. You know, kitchen's a very dangerous place, James. Anything could happen. You haven't heard the last of this. <laughs> Mike Tango, this is Juliet Oxtrot. No, Max, it's James. Operation Musaka is a go. I repeat, Operation Musaka is a go. Ah, oh, bless you. Cheers. Cheers. So, what? So what are you going to do about Kate? Do? Well, she fancies you, you fancy her. Well, hello there, Opera. Didn't recognise you there for a moment. I'm trying to do you a favour. Great. We'll look after Michelle for me, Lee. I'm popping out for a bit. Well, you are? Uh-huh. Hmm. Mm. Oh! <laughs> I normally that with a feather, man. <clears throat> First, and she should. I think there's someone outside. Mm, it's probably just a fox or something, sweetheart. Go back to bed. Mr. Haley? Mr. Robert Haley? Yeah. 
health and safety. Do you have somewhere I can get changed? What's this about? There's been a complaint. What sort of complaint? I couldn't possibly say. Who was it? <laughs> you should know better than that, sir. Do you want some coffee? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <sighs> that was disgusting. I'm giving you an official warning. You're in breach of health standards regulations. I don't want some bloody publican from London turn the entire village into a car park and ruin it for everyone. For you, you mean? For everyone. Change the record, darling. You haven't had a hit for years. I suppose the boiled eggs out the question. Morning, Dad. Good morning. I've got a surprise for you. Oh? Mm-hmm. Close your eyes. Open wide. Ah. Oh. It's wonderful. Amazing, huh? Absolutely. He's gifted. And he has the cutest daughter. You're happy here, then? Mm. <laughs> you okay? Never better, darling. Never better. No one. I have a warrant to search the premises. Of course you do. What for? I'm sorry, sir. I couldn't possibly say. Of course you can. You better come in. What the bloody hell were you thinking? It's half an ounce of wacky backy, mate. It's not like a Mayardi drug meal. How the hell did they know? I haven't got a clue. Look, I only shared a puff with Kay. What's this? You've been closed, pending a review by the council. It's a summons. There have been a lot of complaints. You've outstayed your welcome. You know, the chap who normally does this gets paid ten pounds an hour. I gave him two hundred to let me do this one. Best money I ever spent. One more thing. She's mine. Keep your hands off, there's a good chap. Or things could get really nasty. <laughs> I almost forgot. Ever wondered who wrote that review you have up in your kitchen? Kit. I see you have. Well done. Clever you. See you next Tuesday. Kit's boyfriend and her dad have shut us down. Kate's got a boyfriend. Good morning to you, too. What's up with Grumpy? The closing is down. What? Kate, leave him alone. They can't do this. They have. What can I do? I think you've done quite enough. What do you mean? Your dad, Forrester, they signed the...